Hello everybody, it's Tracy from Lotus Hard Crystals and today I'm going to be setting up uh, my Maybon Crystal Grid with you. The templates are avail available at my Etsy shop um, specifically for the Autumn Equinox and Maybon. Now you can set up your grid with, an, with a Maybon altar. Now, Maybon is about the balance between light and dark, and it is a time of giving thanks. So therefore, today I'm going to set up the grid with the intention of affirming the gratitude and the blessings that I have. The things that you will need to set up your crystal grid are, now everything I have here is available at my Etsy shop. The crystals I'm using are Red Jasper, Carnelian, and leopard skin jasper. These are all wonderful warm and fiery stones um, that can be used for this time of year and during the equinox. Right, so what we need to do is you will need to sage your grid and your area because we are setting up a sacred space. And that I use sage and we are going to sage our crystals as well. Just light the sage. You can also use Palisanto as well, which I do have. And we're just gonna sage around the area and I'll just light that again because it's taken a bit longer to light up. What you're going to do is you're going to sage every individual crystal. It does take a little bit of time, but it's important that all your crystals are cleansed for the ceremony. Um, I will not sage every crystal, but I will just sage around myself and around the area where I'm going to be setting up the grid. The next thing you will need for this specific grid is four carnelian crystals, which are going to be placed on the outside with the point facing in. We also need a master crystal, and I am using this piece of quartz crystal, which goes in the center Underneath that crystal will go your affirmations and I use a pad of post-it notes and on these, on these post-it notes I am going to write a couple of affirmations that I feel will be suitable for this grid. So for example, for affirmations of gratitude you can just make one simple statement such as I feel gratitude. The next statement we can use is I experience gratitude for everything in my life. The next one is I am blessed. The next one my life is filled with an abundance of goodness. And the universe supports me and all my desires. So once you've written those all down, you get your post-it note and you fold it up. Quite small, so that it goes underneath the master crystal in the center. There we go. So I've folded up quite small and it will go in the center underneath the master quartz crystal. We then can start to set up the stones around the grid. So we have four carnelian crystals. The next is I have got eight red jasper crystals which I am going to set around the grid. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight. Now, the drawing of the grid is just aimed as a guide. You can place your crystals wherever you are drawn to place them. They do not have to be exact because the point of setting up a grid is the intention. We are just going to place this at the side. The next crystals I have are Leopard Skin Jasper. Just sort this out. I'm sure, I'll swap that for a smaller one. There we go. So the next crystals are Leopard Skin Jasper. And we will set this up on the outer skirts of the grid. Now you can set up, you can use the petals of the grid as well, but there are quite a few of them, so we are just going to do in between the red jasper. There we go. Then we are going to amplify the grid with quartz crystals. And I'm just going to use four today, but you can use eight. You can set up your grid with increments of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve crystals. And you place the point of the crystal inwards as this will amplify the energy inwards. We don't want the energy escaping, therefore we do not want the point going the other way. There we go. Now we are ready to set the intentions for the grid. And with this we use <clears throat> a generator crystal. And I have a massive quartz point, which is absolutely wonderful. This needs to be saged as well and when you are saging your individual crystals think of the attention that you want the crystals to help you with so if we go with one intention or affirmation for example we will go with my life is filled with an abundance of goodness so what we do is we are going to charge and we're going to use our crystal point the grid. So we are going to go round the grid three times and then round the individual crystals as if you are going round in a pie shape. So we'll start with the inside of the grid. And in your mind, you're going to say in your mind, my life is filled with an abundance of goodness. Keep on repeating this affirmation. And if you have a few more affirmations, you can say, you can repeat these affirmations one by one over in your head and then repeat. So you are affirming those intentions. Right, so I think actually, no, we'll go with I am blessed because it's a bit easier to say instead of the other one. So we start in the center, I am blessed, and an art on the Cornelian, I am blessed, I am blessed, I am blessed, I am blessed. Back to the center, then to the red jasper. I am blessed, 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 I am blessed. Back to the quartz crystal and then to the leopard skin jasper. I am blessed, I am blessed, I am blessed. You touch every crystal with the point of the crystal. I am blessed, I am blessed. Back to the center crystal. Then we are going to go as a pie shaped to each individual crystal and back again to the center one. I am blessed. 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 Then back again to the red jasper. I am blessed. 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 And then back to the leopard skin jasper. 
I am blessed, 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 I am blessed. Back to the center. And that is your crystal grid complete. You can set up your crystal in, if it's an abundance crystal, you can set it up in the southwest corner of your house. Or if you have an alt, if you don't have a southwest corner, you can set it up on any in any any area in your house if you have an altar in your altar. So I hope um, that you have enjoyed um, the setting up of the grid, and everything that you've seen today can be purchased at my store on Etsy under Lotus Heart Crystals. Many blessings for the season.